Hi, welcome. My name is Sharon Frant Brooks. I work at the Matheny School in the Rehab Technology Department. But in addition, during other parts of the week, I work as a Jewish educator in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, and I coordinate resource center services. So I'm used to doing a lot of Jewish education and teaching about the holidays and the traditions of the Jewish religion. Tonight starts the holiday of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a very special holiday, a joyous holiday for the Jewish community around the world. There are two important features of the holiday, the first one being light, and the second one being miracles. And we say blessings over candles when we light the candles every night of Hanukkah, dealing with those two subjects, light and miracles. In fact, there's three names for the holiday, the way we greet people. We say Chag Sameach, Chag Hanukkah Sameach, Happy Holiday of Hanukkah, Chag Urim Sameach, Happy Festival of Lights. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the symbolism of this menorah, this, this item here. Um, we celebrate by lighting a nine-branched menorah every night of Hanukkah. Um, each of these candles, or these lights, represents one of the nights. We start with one, and it's important to know that we build on light. We always want the light to grow. We don't want the light to be diminished. The light in the middle, typically it's candles, is called the shamash, the helper candle. And we use a candle to light the other candles. You might ask, why do we just light the, why don't we just light the candles with an action right all of them at one time? Why do we light this and then use this to light the others? There's a special tradition in Judaism about candles and light. The flame of a candle represents the soul. And when we use our light to light the lights for others, to enlighten others, we aren't diminished, but they are all made a little brighter. And so we say three blessings on the first night, and after that, on the, every other night, we just say two. The first night, we say a blessing for the lights, for being commanded to light the lights. We say a blessing for the miracles that happen, that are the reason we light the lights. And the last one is simply a prayer of thanks for being able to be here, to be alive, to be healthy, and to be able to celebrate the holiday. We often sing a number of songs that follow that, that also celebrate the same thing. The most important feature that we sing about are the miracles. The miracle that a very small, weak army defeated a very strong one, that the, that the oil that was found in the synagogue, the, the temple in Jerusalem after it was cleaned and restored, lasted for eight days instead of just the one that it was expected to last for. And also because we are now able to resume our practice, our religion, our faith, the way we intended to do before the Syrian Greeks interrupted that process in the country of Israel at the time. Although Hanukkah is a very old holiday, you won't find it in the Bible, the Jewish Bible at least. It's a holiday that has been recorded in other texts called the Book of the Maccabees. But we regard it as a festival just the same as any other festival that is recorded in the Bible. Um, it lasts eight days and it's all built around the time of the, sum, of, the, of the winter solstice, just like many other holidays. And as the nights get darker and the days get shorter, we simply add to the light. And it's there. 